I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I wanted to do also a fundraiser for, um, it's, it's, it's a two thing fundraiser. I'm here to help out Paul. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> if I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British penis. I'm very uneducated. Is this your full-time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Uh-huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much, or are you bored? I'm bored! Tangy. Mmm. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy, 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 tangy. Tangy. I'm insane. Double, double. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry. Medium Pepsi. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh no. <laughs> mm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the. Wrapper. I know, I know. I want okay, to okay, see okay, it. Yeah. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So I think we could have. No. Mm. Would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. See what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. The Chinese are horrible, so the Japanese are horrible people. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. This is the dumpster that we, your mom and I found you in. Your real name was gonna be called Waste Management. <laughs> yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. Then that five hundred dollars is going to go to help a uh, local business called the Tickle Toad. Mm. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. Hey guys. I have been really busy lately, and so that is why there hasn't been a video for quite a while. And I hate making rushed videos because I want to do the best that I can. And anyway, this one is rushed, so let's let's rush it. Okay, like on December 3rd, 2020, Ken said across all of his social media that on December 5th, he was going to have, and I quote, I'll be doing a three-hour charity live stream mega mukbang fee saturday december 5th starting at 5 p.m and ending at 8 p.m eastern standard time all donations will be going to the berry food bank i'll be matching all donations up to 500 dollars let's all help those in need this holiday season i hope to see you all there thank you for your thank you all for your support ken close quote and he's using the food bank graphics and there it is, KBD Productions TV, live stream, all day, straight to the very foot. And those of you who like Ken say, why are you bothering him? Like, he's trying to do something nice. Listen, the food bank, the Berry Food Bank already has an online donation system set up. So, I don't know how Ken is doing this. Is he doing it through um, collecting the money through Super Chats? Or is it through his Patreon? There is also a special button that some of you have told me about that you set up with YouTube to donate to uh, nonprofits. And if he uses that button, maybe it's, it's all legit. 
you know, I'm, I'm not saying he's doing anything criminal. I'm not saying that at all, right? My question is, why doesn't he just tell people to go donate directly to the Barry Food Bank? Because then the money goes immediately to them. There's no third party. You see, the, 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 the food bank is, is, is the first party. You're the second party you want to give money. And you've got to deal with Ken Domic and a third party? So if he wants to have you do something nice and have his mukbang and eat the food and take questions and, and whatever. And it should be like, go hit the link in the description, uh, send your money to the Barry Food Bank. So that's what he told everybody on the 3rd of, of December. Now here is where things get weird. Ken has a vlog channel, which is largely made up of B-roll footage from his big food channel, Food Reviews. And, you know, he just splits the footage and he creates another channel. And that's, you know, it's like he used to have KBD Uncut and Raw, you know, KBD Games. That's his idea. That's, that's his hack idea. Spread your name over a whole bunch of channels and you'll be so rich it won't even be funny. Of course, who wants to watch Ken Domic play Minecraft or watch him open uh, Kinder Eggs with his big hairy middle-aged arms? So it didn't work. Anyway, he still keeps the vlog channel going because if he's going to do a food review, all you got to do is shoot a little bit of extra footage while you're there and you can feed the vlog channel. So he was doing 12 hot cakes of Christmas or something. And while he was doing that, he shot extra footage for the vlog channel. And he put this important notice in the vlog channel, not on his big food channel, so he could tell people, look, I already let you know, I already published it. Because YouTube is actually a great place to publish notices because you get a timestamp from a reliable third party. So it's, it's a great place to put things. And this is where it gets strange because now he starts talking about the donations are also going to be going to the Tickled Toad. Now before I start picking this apart, I want to play it with no edits, right? Because I don't want you to think that I'm screwing around with the footage. So I'm going to play the part where he starts talking about the, some of the money is going to the Tickle Toad now. And I'll just, I'll just run the footage and then I'll run it again picking it apart. Here's the footage that which he talks about it with no edits. Uh, yesterday I put out the advertisement saying that we're going to be doing a um, charity live stream mukbang. So I'm going to order some pizza, some wings and stuff, bring it all back home. I think I'm going to bring the microwave into the room so I can reheat stuff as the, the night goes on. But uh, we're going to be raising money for the Berry Food Bank. Uh, I wanted to do also a fundraiser for... Um, it's, it's, it's a two-thing fundraiser. And I didn't want to get too heavily involved in typing this out on all my social media and stuff. But basically, I want to donate $500 uh, to one of two things. One, donate $500 to the Berry Food Bank. Two, uh, if I can get people to at least match my $500, then that $500 is going to go to help a uh, local business called the Tickle Toad, and I'm going to buy $500 worth of lunches for a... Um, uh, what's it called? Long-term healthcare facility for the um, the workers there, the first care, or what are they called? The frontline workers, and uh, treat them to like a nice lunch from the Tickle Toad. Uh, so there's one actually quite close to the Tickle Toad. Uh, actually, there's a few, um, so I had to pick one. It's just to raise money for the Berry Food Bank, have some fun with you guys, try to raise as much money as possible. So that's what I did yesterday. And my TikTok has kind of blown up a little bit. Okay, never mind his TikTok. I had to make sure you got all the footage. So I played it right from the start all the way through to it being done. Now I'm going to play it again and pick it apart. Uh, yesterday, I put out the advertisement saying that we're going to be doing a um, charity live stream mukbang. So I'm going to order some pizza, some wings and stuff, bring it all back home. I think I'm going to bring the microwave into the room so I can reheat stuff as the, the night goes on. First thing, Ken is not putting a lot of work into this. He does live streams fairly regularly and he can set one up in no time at all. 
He's going to stay at the shack. He's going to order in a bunch of delicious fast food, sit on his ass, and eat it for three hours while he takes the same silly questions from his audience that he always gets. Then he's going to go to the bathroom at the end of three hours and call it a night. So there's not much work there, and we already know, he said it tons of times, that he writes off his food as an expense. So everything that he puts in front of the camera and is eating on, he writes it off as an expense. So he's not even going to suffer the full price of the food. So he's not putting a lot of work into this right from the start. But uh, we're going to be raising money for the Berry Food Bank. Fantastic! Stop right there. So you want to raise money for the Berry Food Bank, period, end of story. Okay, that's great. I would prefer that you would just tell people to go to the link and, di and do the donations directly. I don't know what system you got set up. That's what I have questions about. Yet, if you're going to do this all for the Berry Food Bank, okay, that's great. We will find out how you do it. And if it's all for the Berry Food Bank, that's great, Ken. That's great. Uh, I wanted to do also a fundraiser for... Um... Wait one minute, Kenneth Bernard Domic. This is not what we signed on for. You did a blast across your social media and you used the Food Bank of Barry logo to say you're doing a fundraiser for the Food Bank. And then... A day after, buried in your vlog channel, in the B-roll footage of you getting ready to do the McDonald's hotcakes challenge or whatever it is, all of a sudden, uh, you're changing the rules. Well, what? It's, it's not just about the food bank now. But, I mean, just, just, just look at them. It's like, well, I'm, uh, well, no, no, it's supposed to be all for the food bank. Well, what are you doing here? It's, it's, it's a two-thing fundraiser, and I didn't want to get too heavily involved in typing this out on all my social media and stuff. Pardon my French, what the fuck are you talking about? I didn't want to get too involved typing it all out on my social media and stuff. So you didn't want to tell people what is going on? You don't want to be transparent about what this fundraiser is? And, and, you, and, you, and you talk about this buried in... Useless B-roll footage of you screwing around with McDonald's hotcakes challenge? I didn't want to be bothered type. What? What? Is your hand going to fall off if you type? And you say the rest of it? I didn't want to get too involved? You're talking about asking for donations from people. And you didn't want to get too involved typing about it? Like, your hand would fall off if you did the typing, right? Oh, okay. So you don't want to let people know what's what's really going on with it with this with this fundraiser. That's a pretty shitty excuse. I didn't want to get too involved with all the typing. Get out of here, please and thanks. But basically, I want to donate five hundred dollars uh, to one of two things. One, donate five hundred dollars to the Berry Food Bank. Great, go do it. That's a nice thing to do. It's the end of the year, so you'll be able to claim it on your taxes. And uh, we know you write everything off, and I don't know how much of a donation to a nonprofit like the Berry Food Bank you can write off. However, the more you donate, the better it gets. And you know, I don't even care if you end up getting 50 or 60 percent of it back in your taxes. I don't care. If you have $500 and you want to donate it to the Berry Food Bank, great, go ahead and do it. End of story. Two, uh, if I can get people to at least match my $500 then that $500 is going to go to help a uh, local business called the Tickle Toad. That is not what you said in your social media blast. You said that you would be matching all donations up to 500 bucks, And that all money will be going to the Barry Food Bank. And now you say that the match 500 is going to go to the Tickle Toad. Uh, it's not a local business, Ken. I'm not going to mention where you are. It's the shack in the elf village. You, you see, you would make a complaint because that's the type of person you are. You struck this channel six times. You said you had a copyright claim. They were all counterclaimed. You never brought a lawsuit. You are a liar. You abuse the, the safeguards within this system. You are an abuser of them. You have told people 
uh, tons of times where you are, shot footage of the house, go on for walks around your hood, I'm not going to say where the town is. We call it the shack in the elf village. This is not a local business. It's not a local business to the Berry Food Bank either. It's in another town. Quite a ways away. It's not a local business. You're a fucking liar. It's your friend. It's like, man, you got the stupidest audience that anyone could ask for. It's, it's a local business. Bullshit! It's not local to you in your shack in the elf village. It's not local to Barry in the Berry Food Bank. The Tickle Toad is in Newmarket. And that's your friend Paul. What the fuck? And I'm going to buy $500 worth of lunches. So this is a windfall for your best friend Paul in a, another town that is nowhere near you or Barry. And you're sending it's a local business and uh, we're going to buy $500 worth of lunches. That stupid sports bar pub food fair crap is all overpriced. And you were at the Tickle Toad a week prior to you changing the rules. And here are some, some clips of what you were really there for. And like, if you want to help out your friend and tell people to tip heavy and spend money at the Toad, like that's fine. And just don't approach people with, we're going to do a fundraiser, all money goes to the Berry Food Bank. And then the day later, you sneaky put this in on your vlog channel. Uh, it's a, a two thing. I'm gonna be buying five hundred dollars lunch of, lunch of lunches at the toad. Here's the clips. These are uh, from a week ago. Mm, I'm here to help out Paul. So I'm eating it here at the Tickle Toad to hopefully bring more people in to have uh, at least order from the Tickle Toad. Come and pick it up curbside or drop in, pick it up, whatever. If there's space in the patio, if there's space inside and you're allowed in, then sit down, eat, tip heavy, and uh, we'll keep the Tickle Toad alive. Now, Ken, with the footage that I have saved with your statements about where half of the money is going, how are you going to be using that YouTube special non-profit donate button? Because the Tickle Toad is not a non-for-profit charity. It is a sports bar business run by your best friend, and you've made tons of videos there in the past. So you're going to buy $500 worth of these overpriced sports bar pub sandwiches. And who are you going to give them to? For a, um, uh, what's it called? Long-term health care facility for the um, the workers there the first care or what are they called the frontline workers and uh, treat them to like a nice lunch from the tickle toad good old hack Ken exploiting everything for profit back when this mess was starting you would do isolation streams from the shack and say I'm in isolation and then you left the shack the next day and people would say what do you mean you're in isolation you're, you're leaving the house you would simply come back and say, well, I'm in isolation now. No, that's not how it works. If you're in isolation because, I mean, you, you exploited the word to make it sexy so you could make more money. If you're in isolation, then you're in isolation. you got to stay at the house for something because you, you were in a bad area and you, and you have to be uh, self-quarantine yourself in isolation. You just made a joke of it. You lied. I'm in isolation. And then you would leave the next day. And you'd come back again. I'm in isolation. And you would leave the next day. You were not in isolation. It was just a sexy title for you to use. We had to scream at you to use your damn mask and start sanitizing your hands. And you were so slow to do any of it. And now it's like, well, we're going to get something for the workers. Uh, if they had a job in that sort of thing before this mess started, their jobs are secure and they're getting paid better than most people right now. While everybody else is losing their jobs, they got their jobs. I'm not saying anything bad about them. Uh, it's great that you, that you want to give them these sandwiches. So have you and Paul donate your time and work. Make the sandwiches yourselves and don't ask people to donate the money through you. Uh, so there's one actually quite close to the Tickle Toad. Uh, actually, there's a few, um, so I had to pick one. It's just to raise money for the Berry Food Bank, have some fun with you guys, try to raise as much money as possible. So that's what I did yesterday. Here is where I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough. It's not going to be very long of the Berry Food Bank website donations page. Before I do that, why, with his social media blast, and with what he just said here, does Ken never tell you 
to go to the Berry Food Bank website to donate directly. This here is the Berry Food Bank website. The address is berryfoodbank.org. Here is their email address, which says info at berryfoodbank.org. If you want the website, it is the same thing as the email address, which is berryfoodbank.org, which is B-A-R-R-I-E-F-O-O-D-B-A-N-K dot O-R-G. And once you get there, you go over here, and there's donating at the top right and the donate now button and you will get this page so let's get to the by the way you can you can bring non-perishable items to their location and here is the financial donations all okay. right keep going down and what you will get if you donate to the berry food bank directly is that they will get the money immediately and they'll get all of it they will also give you something that Ken Domic will not give you, which is you will get a tax receipt, receipt rather, um, thing for your taxes. Okay, so you give it to them over the internet, and they will still get you your tax receipt, so you can write off your donation for yourself. There. So this is where Ken Dominic should be sending you. So that you get to enjoy having a tax receipt for you to write off for you to have. Again, that is berryfoodbank.org. So to review, Ken sent out a blast and said he's raising money for the Berry Food Bank. Period. And he will match all donations to the Berry Food Bank up to $500. So, if he gets up to $500 worth of donations, he puts in his $500, and there'll be at least $1,000 given to the food bank. Now we find out that the $500 he wants to give to the food bank anyway becomes a carrot. So he asks you to donate $500. Then he'll take that $500 he already has and go blow it on expensive sandwiches at the for-profit Tickled Toad. So at what point does he decide if it doesn't reach $500 that he's going to spend part or all of his $500 at the Tickled Toad or part or all of it goes to the food bank? Is any of your money ending up at the Tickled Toad? What kind of a mess is this? You know what? Ken said in his own words, I didn't want to type it all out and get too involved with it on my social media. You know, just forget it. It's fishy. If you want to donate to the Berry Food Bank, the link is in the description below. Just leave Ken alone with his convoluted plan and his refusal to tell you what is going on. Just stay away. If you want to donate to the food bank, the Berry Food Bank, this, this video is rushed. To reiterate for the last time, the link is in the description below. Donate directly to the Berry Food Bank. Do not use Ken Domic as a broker with his convoluted plan. End of story. Bridges, peanut. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. Tangy.